Slayer. What is going on, everyone? Dark Scheme here. Hope everybody's having a good day and a good week so far. And today, I'm going to be talking to you guys a lot about Halo. Recently, there has been a pretty interesting leak over on Reddit talking about the multiplayer. So for those looking to see if there are any spoilers, this is purely multiplayer, so you are good to go. This is a spoiler-free Halo 5 Guardians leak. So first off, this Reddit thread originally was posted by username Halo5Guy. Of course, this was over on the R Halo subreddit and has since been deleted, both the thread and the user, but somebody has reposted images of the thread and all of the information contained with it, and of course, some images as well. Uh, now, since then, not all the screenshots have been posted, but a good handful of them are on Imager. So I will be linking to you guys the thread in the description below. Uh, but just a quick warning before you guys go and click that link that recently Imager was compromised. Since then, it has been patched, it has been fixed, but Imager still recommends you to clear your cookies slash cache on your web browser just in case. And for more information on the compromise over at Imager, I'll give you guys a link to that as well. So let's get things started. Most of the information is of the latest build of an internal beta going on for Halo 5 Guardians. Uh, this internal beta is most likely a friends and family testing. This is very common to do uh, with other games. I know that World of Warcraft is big on having an internal testing. So technically there is a beta, but it is not open beta. And of course, all this information coming at you it is unsure if it is real or not, but honestly, because of the type of information that it is, I would say it is real. But just in case you guys want to take this all with a grain of salt, because yes, it was posted and the user has some proof, but you never know. It's the internet. So again, this is an internal build, and here is some very quick information. There will be 17 assassination animations to unlock, 220 emblems. 14 Spartan stances, 175 armor sets, both for helmet and armor, yes, you heard that correctly, and 53 visors. So there is a lot of things to unlock within Halo 5 Guardians. Previously, everybody was worried about the armor sets because there wasn't as much customization as there was in Reach, and that was a confirmed thing. But because there are so many armor sets, it'll be awesome to unlock them and put them on and have a variety of different looking Spartans within Halo 5 Guardians when it launches. Halo 5 guy continues and says that the armor and emblems don't seem legit. So for me, it possibly means that some of the armors and emblems that are in the beta build are not final. And because they're not final, some of them may not make it to the final build. Of course, there will be more weapon skins as well. As far as now, it seems like you can unlock 10 Assault Rifle skins, 7 Battle Rifle skins, 5 DMR skins, 5 SMG skins, and 7 Magnum skins. And for those who are Halo players, you will notice that all these weapons are human weapons. Now, what about the Covenant weapons? This is def definitely something interesting to consider, to see what type of weapon skins they come out with. And, of course, these human weapons are what they have so far. But I'm hoping to see some Covenant weapon skin variants, as well as some vehicle skin variants too. I think that would be really cool. And in my opinion, if they don't have any Covenant weapon skins in the final build when the game launches, I would say they might have them later with new rec packs coming out because rec packs are a thing. And with that, we have some information on rec packs and a little bit of the types of rec packs that you can unlock. So there are five different types of rec packs. Within the beta build, it is unsure how you get rec packs. It seems like you can buy it with real life money, but it, the user was kind of unsure. Halo 5 guy didn't really give us some clear information on that. But like I said, the five different types of packs is, from highest rarity to lowest, is platinum, gold, silver, bronze. And there is a fifth pack that is a recurring weekly pack earned by players who, quote, get the rec pack with the game. So it seems like maybe the weekly pack is earned when you buy one rec pack per week. That is rec packs for you. Very quick information. And of course some control schemes, some new ones that we're seeing in the mix. The P shooter control scheme changes the B button for sprinting and zooming. Interesting combination for a button. The new one, Hell Jumper, this one is definitely interesting and one that I might test out. 
the X button is now the thruster pack. B is the action slash reload button. Right bumper is for throwing grenades. Left bumper is for jumping and clambering. So it seems like the hell jumper button is very similar to the bumper jumper button. So uh, the differences I am unsure of now, but I will definitely have to check that out. And of course, classic schemes make a return. This is including Southpaw, Recon, the Halo 4 scheme, Fish Sticks, Boxer, Green Thumb, Bumper Jumper, and of course, Default. So one of the biggest things that Halo 5 guy brought up within the settings is that you can turn off assassination animations. You can change up things like maintaining your sprint, and of course, turning on and off auto destabilization, and of course, some old settings that we saw from the public beta. So one of the interesting things about the assassination animation is that within competitive settings, most of the times you don't want to get into an assassination animation because one, it makes you a sitting duck, and two, it just takes you out of the game when you're trying to flank an enemy and kill two opponents and you end up getting an assassination animation and of course you get called out and within the animation you're pretty much a dead Spartan. So for those getting into competitive play, you will not, no longer accidentally get an assassination animation as long as you turn it off within the settings. And Halo 5 guy goes into a quick little Q&A in which he describes that the latest build of the game feels somewhere in between Halo 3 and Halo 2 with a little bit of reach. So he says that is a perfect mesh of these three games. And I'm actually really excited for this. Halo 3 and Halo 2 were definitely one Halos that I played a lot. And even Reach when it came out, I played a lot of it. He also describes that the gunfights within the game in the latest build are smooth and quick. And skill is definitely greater than being a new player. So it rewards players who know what they're doing, who know how to get around the map, and of course, gun skill. He also answers a question in which somebody wanted to see some custom game footage. Um, but the beta build did not include a custom game option at all. The build was purely multiplayer, so of course there was no forge or anything else accessible. Assist medals are back, and grenade medals are unsure of right now. There doesn't seem to be any new maps, it seems to be just the same Warzone map and the same midship remake for the 4v4 arena game move. And one of the biggest things and one of the more interesting things about these settings is the status bar on the top of the screen while in the Spartan hub. Now, if you guys want to check out that image, I will pull that, pull that up. And as you can see on the top left of the screen, he is in the settings and you can see that he is actually searching for a game now and it will let him know when it finds a game. In the Q&A, he also describes that once it found a game, it would kick him out so he could see what map and game mode he was playing. And that is all the information that we have as of now. As far as settings, it is pretty much straightforward. There are some new settings as far as uh, music volume, brightness, effects. Of course, that is all things that was well needed and well deserved for Halo. And of course, here's an image of the final post-game Carnage report. Now, it seems like 343 is sticking with this type of layout for the game. Uh, it is definitely an upgrade for the Master Chief Collection main menu build it seems a little bit user friendly and it is a lot better of course there are some more images roaming around out there so hopefully you guys can kind of hover around that thread that i have linked to you guys and see if there are any new things and of course this final one searching for spartans within warzone it shows all the players on the bottom of the screen and their emblems so with an addition of all the emblems i think it's kind of cool it'll be interesting to see all the different types of emblems like i said there are 200 plus emblems within the game of course that number is not final and that is pretty much it for me today that is all the information for halo 5 that we have as of now so what do you guys think are you guys excited for the new control schemes do you guys like the design of all the menus within the game and for those competitive players are you excited to turn off the assassination animation within the settings so that you do not get an accidental assassination on somebody let me know in the comment section. I'd like to hear a little bit about what you guys think. So as always, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.